To improve the display of our contests, off camera, I added a little bit of CSS here to make it look a little bit better. I'm not a designer and I don't claim to be, but this certainly looks a little bit better. Here's what I did. I gave the category name a class and I gave the contest name a class and I added this simple CSS here. Now, I have not persisted this CSS yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me create a new file and paste the CSS in here. And what I want to do is, I want to use SAS because I think it has a lot more power than the CSS. For example, in our simple CSS, this is actually nested. Instead of doing dot contest preview every time, I can go ahead and nest this call in here, which allow me to get rid of this duplication here. But this is not valid CSS, this is SAS. So the browser is not gonna understand it. So I'm gonna take this SAS code and save it as a SAS file. Let's introduce a new directory here, call this directory SAS, and we'll put any SAS styles inside this directory. So I'll save this new file as style.scss. The extension is scss, which stands for SAS CSS. And now I have two options. We either make Webpack translate this SAS for us into CSS and use the CSS directly in our application, or we can have Node translate this SSS into CSS directly. And this way is a little bit better because we get to use it directly on server load. So there is a Node SAS middleware that we can use to make this work in Node. All we need to do is npm install it. Node SAS middleware. And once we have it, we can go into server.js to use it. We need to import it, call it SAS middleware. And we import it from node SAS middleware. I will also import path from path. This is a built-in node module. And to use the SAS middleware with Express, we do server.use, the SAS middleware that we just defined, which is a function. This function takes an object, and in here, we specified the configuration that we want to work with this middleware. Most importantly, we need a source directory to read the SAS files from and a destination directory to write the generated CSS. So we'll use the path library to work with these directories. So we want path.join starting from the current directory and joining the SAS folder. And similar to this, the destination is path.join directory into Let's just put it in the public directory. Restart the server. And if all works, this middleware is gonna give me a style.css file in the public directory. So all I need to do is go to my header.ejs and include this new style, which is another link, style sheet from the public, which we can read directly. So it's just style.css. Refresh and it's working. So with this configuration, we have the power of SAS in our project. I'm gonna make sure things are actually working. I'm gonna make this border ugly green. Refresh, and it's working. So what happens here, every time I change this file, Nodemon is gonna restart my Node server, and the SAS middleware is gonna pick this file, translate it into CSS, and allow me to use it directly from slash style.css. So to get all the code that I did in this movie, I tagged this point in the course as v43end. In here, you'll get the configuration of the SAS middleware and you get the CSS that I have.